In this video, we're going to review several topics related to product attributes. The content in this video is geared towards businesses that sell products that have multiple attributes like color, size, and length. For example, let's say you sell a t-shirt that comes in multiple colors and sizes, but you also want to track the inventory for each color size combination. I'll show you the best way to add those products and assign multiple attributes in a way that will allow you to track the inventory for each product type. If you are using our e-commerce platform, this method will allow the products to sync properly to your website so that when a customer is using it, they'll be able to select color and size. Definitely keep in mind that while it may seem like a lot at first, once you have your settings adjusted and cu your custom attributes created, adding the products and assigning these attributes will be super easy. Let's get started. Before we can assign attributes, we need to change and enable some settings in the back end. So the first thing we want to do is enable product types. So go over to the main navigation bar on the left hand side and once it expands, select settings. Once you get to this window, select the general settings tab and you're going to scroll down to add-ons. As you can see, there's a lot of things that you can customize on here, but we're just going to focus on the things related to this. So here we're on add-ons and select enabled under enable product type. So right here, it's the second one. It's already enabled. So press enabled and scroll down and press save. So that is how you enable product types. Now you didn't necessarily have to pre press save yet, but now we're going to enable the stock management. So scroll down to stock management in the same uh, tab right here. And right now it's marked as disabled. So we're going to go ahead and enable that and scroll to the bottom and press save again. If you don't enable these settings in the back end, you will not be able to assign attributes or manage your stock. Now let's make sure our location or locations are set up properly. This is really important for tracking inventory and especially important if you have inventory kept at multiple locations. So while you're in the settings um, window, press locations on the left hand side and find the location you want to edit and press edit location at little blue button. And then you want to make sure that you put in the business name, phone number, address. You have to include the city, state, postcode. Uh, you have to select yes or no for tip select. So this is mostly for restaurants and you want to choose your warehouse. So normally it defaults to none. So you're going to have to go ahead and select that location and then press save changes. Now that we've enabled those settings, let's create some custom attributes. We'll create one for color and one for size. So go to items in the left hand navigation bar. And then you're going to press the custom attributes button in the upper right, left, right hand corner. And then you're going to press new product attribute. So in this pop up window, there are several empty fields that are going to be filling out under attribute code. Uh, for color, you're going to write color out like this. If you don't write it like this, it won't sync properly with the e commerce site. Under attribute name, you want to put something that um, you can put whatever you want, but you want to put something that's obvious to the user. So in this case, I'll keep it simple and write color. Under custom attribute type, you want to select string. Under front end input type, you want to select select. And then you see that another little field popped up here. So I'll just skip over that part. And under UI column size and POS, I'm going to write three, and this just reflects how large that that drop down menu is going to be in the product edit window which you'll see later on and select values you're going to press add new and here you're going to begin adding those uh, color values so in the empty field under value you want to enter something you want to it's be, it's better to use a shortcut for the color or size so instead of writing like blue out you'll enter something like the l and label you can write blue I'm going to add two more. So let's do green and let's do pink. And keep in mind, you can write whatever you want here, but the shorter that value is, the better. And then you're going to press save changes. So that's how you create a product attribute. So next we're going to create one for clothing size. You'll be following the same steps, except the code and display name will be different. So press new product attribute up top. Here you'll see that it'll sort of pre-fill it. Um, feel free to just press delete under those. So attribute code for size, you're going to put size. 
I'm going to change the name to size. This stays the same string, select. What this all this means is that there's going to be a drop down menu to select from. Uh, we're going to keep the column size the same, and now we're going to enter values. So here I'll put MD for medium. Let's do LG for large. And I'll do XL for extra, extra large. And then you just press save changes and now you've added your second product attribute. The next step is critical for people who are using our e-commerce platform. If you're using the e-commerce platform, we need to create a web status attribute. With this attribute, you'll be able to mark individual products as visible or not visible on the e-commerce site. This is great in cases where you might be running a product that isn't stock based, that might be seasonal, or if you have products in your store that you sell in your store that but you don't offer it online. So we're going to follow the same steps as we did for color and size. I'm going to press new product attribute in the top right hand corner. And here I refreshed the page, so that's why this didn't prefill. So here we're going to write web underscore status. And this attribute code has to be exactly the way I wrote it here. Um, I'll be posting a list of this so you don't have to really memorize that. And attribute name, you can write it whatever you want. I'm going to write online visibility. Or you could write, you know, show online, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, but I'm going to write just for the sake of this video. I'm going to select string. And select. I'm going to put three again in the UI column size. And I'm going to start entering these values. So here, it's better just to enter these two. You have to write them exactly the same. The label can be whatever you want, but the value itself has to match what I have here. So we're going to write active. And you can write show or visible. visible. And then here you're going to write hidden. And here you can write not visible. OK, and then you're going to press save changes and that those are going to be our free custom product attributes. Obviously, there are going to be other things that are more relevant to your business, but this is great for people who sell you know, clothing where they have combinations like this. Perfect. So now that we have some popular custom attributes created, we can move on to review how to create matrix products and assign those attributes to that matrix product. So it will be able to auto-generate individual sub-products that you'll be able to track the inventory of and assign barcodes to. In order for a separate product to automatically to be automatically generated for each combination of a product, we will need to create that matrix product or if it's easier, remember a main product. I already created a category called top, so let's go ahead and add our first matrix product. Press new item up top and enter the name. I'm going to call this uh, basic short sleeve. Obviously, you can call it whatever you want. Um, since this is going to be a matrix product, under product type, we're going to select variance matrix. And as you can see, a new field appears that's called variant, uh, variation attributes. And when you click on that, you'll see the, those, three, um, those three custom attributes we created earlier. And you want to select the ones most relevant to this. So we're going to select color and size. You don't need to select online visibility because here, you're going to need to activate those, um, enable those on the individual products themselves. So if you want to add a picture, I'm going to select the button up up here. And category is going to be tops. Let's choose main sales tax. I'm going to say the shirt is $10. So when you scroll down, so this next part might seem a bit tedious at first, but it will save you a measurable amount of time you know, by doing it this way. So under Manage Product Variants, we're going to press this Add at by Attribute Values. So we're going to start with blue. And let's start with the smallest size, medium. And the warehouse is going to be your store location. If you can remember back when we went over locations, we assigned this as um, a warehouse. And you're going to press Add. And there you go, that pops up. And then we're going to keep adding. So you can just scroll down. Click that, and I'm going to do it for blue and green, just, just for this demonstration. Extra large, add, so get rid of that. And that, you always want to select it from the warehouse that that, that product is coming from. So green, we're going to do medium, add, oh sorry, green, large, add, scroll down, and then the last one, extra large. I think that's fine for right now. 
And as you can see, all these different values, value combinations. So BL was the code for blue, MD was for medium, BL for blue, large, GR for green, XL for extra large. And once you've added that, you're going to press Save Changes. And now you see that a couple, all those, um, all those sort of subproducts generated individual products. So we have this short sleeve button up BLMD, uh, green large, green medium, you know, blue extra large. If you open one of these subproducts, you can see that this particular product has the original product name followed by a color and size combination, as I pointed out just a few moments ago. Um, it's important that a uh, different product is generated for each combination because you'll most likely be tracking the inventory for each co each um, each combination. And it'll also allow to allow you to make some of these like visible and not visible. So maybe you want to sell all the green you know smalls in store and online, but you only want to sell the greens the green extra large or large in store. So I'm gonna press close. Now that we've created custom attributes as well as matrix products and variations, I'll review how to manage the inventory of each of those products. Since we enabled stock management in the settings, we can see a small circular icon that contains four small squares right here. You want to press that icon uh, depending on the item that you want to add stock quantity to. In the pop-up window, enter the appropriate value under quantity. So here I'm going to put, let's say, 500. Put one under quantity increment since that 500 under quantity means we have 500 individual shirts. Leave type blank. That field is for custom stock types like pounds or inches, and then press save changes. And then you'll get a success message, press OK. And I'm just gonna quickly do the same thing. I'll add different values to the other variations. I'll leave that one. Let's do 40. Do let's say 72, and you can put whatever based on your based on your um on your actual stock. I'm gonna put 100 here, and once we've done that, you can refresh the page. You don't necessarily have to. I'm just gonna go under tops, and then you want to open the original matrix product. So press this edit icon here, and in this case, it's easy to notice which one it is because it's the only one we've added a photo to. And when you look at the name, you don't see anything like MD or, or size. Um, and when you scroll down to manage product variants, you'll see that now not only does it display the name and the price and the values, it displays a space for Q, for the SKU numbers and the quantity. And here you can see all those quantities that I just entered reflected in this view. So you can also manage the stock quantities and SKU numbers from this window. So for um, let's say this blue media, I'm going to add like one, two, three, four, five, and press save, and that's going to be that SKU. Um, if you have a barcode reader attached to your computer or whatever device you're using to enter these um, these values in, you can scan that, or you can use the inventory app. And that's it. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and for more information on other features, visit docs.acadiapos.com or send us an email at info at